Hey everyone, it's happy hour at my loom kitchen and today we'll be making these frozen loom margaritas. I just wanted to mention a few notes before we begin. This creation does need stuffing and needs some extra support for the stem area since it's a mixture of single and double bands. For the support, I'm using these balloon sticks which I cut down to 3 inches in height and Balloon sticks usually come with these balloon cups. We'll be needing that as well. If you click on the link below this video in the information box, it should take you to the recipe page where I listed down the band count and all the colors that I used for these creations. So check that out, come back, and let's begin. For the garnish portion of this creation, if you notice that I placed garnish on both sides of the cocktail. For the fruit portion, you can use any of the other garnishes that I've used on my other previous loom cocktails and I have links to those tutorials on the recipe page. But on this side, I garnished it with these mint leaves and twirled lemon and lime rinds. And these two I will be showing you how to do now. To make the twisted lemon or lime rind, all you'll need is your hook. So first you take two bands of either your lemon or your lime color. Wrap it around your hook three times. Then you get two bands and double that up. Pull it through. It's nice and tight. Now you get a single band, double it on it onto itself, pull that through, creating a chain, and then another single band, double it on itself, pull it through. So you're just going to continue making that chain of doubled up single bands for as long or as short as you want your twisted lemon or lime rind to be. And it actually just starts twisting on its own. And that's it. And tie it off with a clear band. To make the leaf garnish, you're going to need your regular loom set in the offset configuration. And we're going to be using three rows. Start on the center row and go down three times with single bands doubled on itself. Then you take another single band, double it on itself, and go from the top, middle top to the left. Take another single band, double, go down, and take a single band, and stretch it out to the bottom of the middle row. And let's just repeat that on the other side. Now you need a crossover band. Take a single band, double it, Go across the three rows and a single band, cap it off as tight as you can. Now we're just going to loop this up. So put your hook through the cap band, pick up the top band, loop it onto itself. The next band, loop it onto itself. The last, loop it onto itself. 
Now you loop up all three rows and we're meeting up on the middle top peg. Now you tie that off with a single clear band. You can use one leaf or you can make two and set them aside for later. Let's start with the frozen margarita. You're going to need your regular loom. If you could remove the center row and have the remaining two rows facing on opposite directions, I have my front row facing to the right and my back row facing to the left. You're going to need your loom hook and a crochet hook if you have one. Now you get two of your drink color, two bands, wrap around your hook twice, four bands, pull it through, Take the ends of a pair of those bands. Place it on opposite ends. Take the other pair. And exit out. Now put your hook through and pull another two bands through. So you have six bands on six pegs for your starting point. Now we're going to do one round of double bands. Then we're going to lift the lower two bands on the six pegs up and over. From the six pegs, we're now going to extend to ten pegs. So if you look at this side, you're going to get this band. You're going to move that here. Take the other end of that band. Move it there. Do the same on the other side. Then on 10 pegs, we're going to do two rounds. One round means lay your double bands all, all over the pegs, then you lift the lower bands up and over. It helps if you lay your bands out here on the horizontal areas first, and you, you leave the sides to be last. A lot of the actions in this tutorial are repetitive, so if I end up speeding up on certain points, please feel free to pause your video at any time if you need to catch up.
So after the two rounds on the 10 pegs, we'll now extend to 14 pegs. And again, we're taking this band on both sides. Extend. The other end. So 14 pegs, now we're going to do two rounds again. After the 14 pegs, we're now going to extend to 18 pegs, again from the sides. Take this end, take the other end of that pair. The other side as well. Take that end and the other end. On 18 pegs, we're only going to need one round. Again, lay down the top and the bottom portion before the sides first. Now we're going to do our last extension from the 18 pegs to 22 pegs. Take those sides again. On 22 pegs, we're going to do one round, but only with single drink bands. Lift all those bands up and over. Should be left with two bands on each peg.
After the round on 22 pegs of the single bands, we're now going to move on to our glass portion on top. But before that, I'm going to add on the garnish. So I have my twisted lemon rind, my mint leaves, and I'm adding a lime wedge on this portion. So you can actually put it anywhere you want on the glass, but this is how I set mine. I'm gonna put my hook through the center portion of my wedge, single drink colored band, pull it through. Let me place one end here temporarily. Now I'm going to place my hook under, grab that drink band, single drink band on the wedge. Then I'm going to place it on one peg. I'm going to do the same for the other side. So that's my lime wedge. Now for my for my mint garnish, I think I'm going to do I want this resting on the drink portion here. So do the same. Then take the other one, place it close by. Go under. They can rest on the same peg or maybe I'll put it here. Now for my rind, find the spot. Maybe I want it to come out from here. So I'll do the same thing. So that's my garnish. Place them in the center towards the middle first so that they won't get in the way because now we're going to start with the, the glass rim. For my glass rim, they'll be single, I'll be using single white bands or single glitter white bands because I wanted the rim to look like it was it had salt. So we're going to do my twisted glass band thing, my twisted glass band method. So you get a single band, place it on one peg, twist, here, and we're just going to do single twisted glass bands all around. So lay down one layer of this, then you're going to need another layer on top of it. Same thing, single glass bands, single twisted glass bands. So pause your video, finish up this laying down your single twisted glass bands on these 22 pegs.
And when you're done with the 22 pegs, add one more layer. Unpause when you're done and we'll resume from there. After laying down two layers of the twisted salted glass bands, this is how your loom should look. Now we're going to lift only the lower glass salted glass bands. Don't touch the drink portion on each peg. After lifting those salted glass bands up and over, we're going to add one more layer of single twisted clear glass bands. And this is the last layer for the glass portion. So if you look at your loom, you have your clear, salted, and drink band on each peg. We're just going to lift the salted, frosted glass bands up and over. When you're done lifting the salted glass bands up and over, now we're going to go back to our drink bands, then we lift those up and over. push everything down. Now we're going to move back to the drink portion. We're back to two bands. So we take two of your drink colored bands and we're going to lay them around these 22 pegs. So you could lay down the upper and the lower areas first before the sides. We need two rounds on these 22 pegs.
now you're going to pick up the glass bands and bring them up and over. This is the first round on the 22 pegs. We're going to need two rounds on these 22 pegs. Second round. Again, since most of the actions are repetitive, in this tutorial, if I tend to speed up, please feel free to pause at any time if you need to catch up. Lift all the drink, the lower bands up and over. After the two rounds on these 22 pegs, we're now going to decrease this to 20 pegs. So from here, smoothen out the peg and separate the upper two from the lower two. Put your hook through, pick up the lower two bands, release those two on the peg. Pull to tighten and place these two bands opposite from where they come from. Let's do the same here. Hook through, pick up the lower two bands. And the two bands of the peg, well, they came off, but then you should release, tighten, and bring it opposite. Put your 
push everything down. So we're going to need two rounds on these 20 pegs. So double bands again. Now pause your video, finish up two rounds on these 20 pegs. Unpause when you're done and we'll resume from there. After the two rounds on the 20 pegs, it's hard to keep your loom down since the bottom portion is getting in the way. So let's push our creation up a bit. Just be careful not to pop them off the pegs. We're going to decrease again now from the 20 pegs to 18. So on these extended areas. Pick up your lower two bands. Release the ones on the peg. Pull to tighten. And bring the two bands on your hook opposite to from where they come from. Do it on the other side. Put your hook through. Pick up the lower two bands. Release the ones on the peg. Pull to tighten. And bring it opposite. Push everything down. We're going to need one round on the 18 pegs, double bands. Lift all the lower bands up and over, leaving only the new bands you just laid out. So that's four bands on each peg. Let's decrease again now to 16 pegs from this 18 down to 16. From this peg, 
walk through. Pick up the lower two bands. Release the ones left on the peg. Pull to tighten. Bring those two bands opposite from where they come from. Do the same here. Pull through, pick up the lower two. Release those two. We're down to 16 pegs and we're going to need one round on the 16. Lift the lower bands up and over. If you need to catch up, please pause your video. Let's decrease now from the 16 to 14 pegs. On this extended peg, put your hook through, pick up the lower two, release, pull the tight end, and this band is coming from here, so Opposite. Do the same here. Release those two. Pull up the tight end. This band's coming from here, so bring it opposite. At this point, you can start adding your stuffing to your margarita slowly. So you can see the shape and you can reshape it. As early as now, if there are things that need to be tweaked. On 14 pegs, we're going to do one round, but we're going to use single bands, single drink colored bands. I lift all the lower bands up and over.
Uh, let's decrease this from 14 to 10. So, from this peg, you're going to put your hook through, pick up the lower band, release that one on the hook, on the peg, pull, tighten, and this band is coming from here. So let's bring it there. Sorry, this band is coming from here, the other side. Do the same in this bag. Hook through, pick up that lower band, release, pull the tighten, and put it opposite. So you're on 12 pegs. On this extended peg, you have three bands on your peg. Pick up the lower, bring it up and over. Now with these two bands, put your hook through, pick up the lower of the two, release the one on the peg, pull to tighten, and bring this band opposite. Do the same here, hook through, pick up the lower of the two, release, and bring it opposite. So we're now on 10 pegs and I'm going to add more stuffing again. It's always good to slowly add stuffing because gets harder to shape as the opening gets smaller. And that pegs, we're back to double bands. Double of your drink bands. So this is the first round on the 10 pegs. And you lift all the lower bands up and over. You should only be lifting two bands on each peg up and over, leaving four bands on the peg. One more round of double bands on these 10 pegs. Lift all the lower four bands up and over on each peg.
So we're going to decrease again from 10 to 8. On this peg, put your hook through, pick up the lower two bands, release the two left on your peg, pull the tighten, and bring those two in your hook opposite. Same here. Pick up the lower two. Release the ones on the peg. Bring it opposite. eight pegs before you start your we need two rounds on the eight pegs but before you start you can add you should add a little bit more stuffing again So double bands on these eight pegs, two rounds. This is the first round. Lay double bands around the eight pegs. One more round. Okay, and let's decrease again from the 8 to the 6. So on this bag, the extended bag, put your hook through. Pick up the lower two. Release those on your hook. Pull. And bring it opposite. On the other side as well. Hook through, pick up the lower two, release the two on the peg, pull, and bring it opposite. So we're transitioning to the stem area and on six pegs, this is your last chance to stuff it if you wanted to add more stuffing.
Okay, on the six pegs, we're going to have two rounds. But the first round should be a mix of your glass color and your drink color. So I have my clear band and my drink color band. Just all the lower bands up and over, leaving only those bands you just laid out. Now, for the second round on the six pegs, you're just going to be using double bands of your glass color. In my case, it's clear. So we're done with the top portion of our margarita and we are going to decrease now from 6 to 4 for the stem of the glass. Let's do it from this peg, smoothen it out. You separate your lower two from the upper two. Put your hook through. Pick up the lower two and release. And now bring that those two in your hook opposite from where it comes from. Same on this bag. Pick up the lower two. Release those two, pull, and bring it opposite. Now we're down to four pegs. And if you have a hard time with the diagonal, you can always just move. You can move your loom or you can move your peg. If you want to move your loom, just pop it out. One pop out one row, just adjust. So you have your peg squared off. We're starting with the stem, and we're going to need ten rows of single bands on these four pegs. This is the first round. Now lift all the lower bands up and over, leaving only those, leaving only two bands on the peg. Continue laying your bands. It's round two. So after this round, you're going to need eight more rounds on these four pegs. 
So pause your video, finish up the 8 rounds of single bands on the 4 pegs, unpause when you're done, and we'll resume from there. After the 10 rounds on your 4 pegs, your margarita should look this way, and now we can insert our support. So take your balloon stick, just twist it in. Try to center it as much as possible. So now we're just going to create the skirt to cover up the, the balloon cup under. So on these four pegs, just extend on the sides to six by crossing it here, just single bands. And then close it off. Extending it here and on the other side and across with X'd out glass bands. Now you're going to lay single bands all around the six. One more round of single bands on six pegs. Now let's extend this to eight single bands X out here. X out here, X out here, X out there. Now lay single bands around the eight pegs. One more round on eight. Our last increase to ten. So exit out here, close that off, exit out here, exit out there to close it off, and single bands around the 10 pegs. One last round. Now let's close it off from this peg. First you go to this peg across, 
put your hook through and pick up the lower band of the two on this peg and bring it up and over on the starting peg. Now put your hook through that starting peg Push back those upper two bands, pick up the lower peg and move it, move lower band and move it forward. Hook through, lower band, pick it up, move it forward. Hook through, lower band, move it forward. And you just repeat that all around. last go back to your starting peg place your hook through and tie that off with a slip knot Release, help the your creation off the loom. And pull that skirt over the cup area. Just reshape it. And that's it. So I hope you like it. Enjoy your loom frozen margaritas.